need to be a little closer to get your levels right. There you go. Yeah, 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 that's it. This sounds on a schedule. Good for someone waiting around. A sound on a schedule? Fairy horns! That's right! Clients I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. Working for him was good money, till he got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but that a thief was making it big in New York, and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him, but he caught me. That'd have been me. I... I don't know what I'd do. But that can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Clearance is where it's at. Yeah. Wind chimes. That sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. Guy paid me to mug his boss. Just because it's not Christmas Rough anymore him up, doesn't take mean everything you have to stop wallet. being nice. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. We never told our far? folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Oh, wish I kept my word. You deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. And you and I Let's would be okay to too. You're looking for a sound that tells time. A sound that tells time? Okay. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. Don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying. But he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things got complicated between them. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or lose them. Sounds you need's like an electric current. A current? I could cheat it with venom. <laughs> nah. Cool. Love how alive that feels. Could you like you can be After I started whenever. calling myself the problem, Creepy. met my first client right under this sign. Neon flag's hard to miss, and the crowd makes it easy to blend in. She wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. He never said anything. He just turned and left. He didn't know everything. Just that I was a thief. That was enough. I think he saw where we were headed long before I did. If he would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. 
Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. You did make things better, Dad. And so will I. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. How did Dad record this? Was he a pigeon whisperer? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. Place was swarming with pigeons. The dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. Next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. Yeah, it's subtle, but a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself the Prowler. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. But last, though, your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. Dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when Dad and Uncle Aaron were little. I think it's back there. You probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. Your dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help people. Yeah. Sounds like Dad. Man in subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. Whoa! I'm kinda jealous of his lair. The lab. The basement thing. Use the sounds. Lock? Oh, something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the prowler. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger, 
Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron, for everything.